Hello everybody, um, I was going to say nice to see you all but I can't see you but you can see me. Um, I guess this is the first of a few videos that I'm going to post um, that I hope will um, help you out a little bit with um, some of the content because I know it's difficult and what I'll do is if you actually think they're helpful then um, I'll go back and um, post a number of them uh, for the previous topic. Now the first thing um, we're kind of looking at as a, a big thing is the introduction of the NHS. Now this in many ways is is sort of the biggest um, one of the biggest changes in British history and it's become um, a massive institution and something that people rally around upon I think everyone agrees wholeheartedly with the NHS and if we look at today's environment when you're looking at the response to the coronavirus perhaps you know we're seeing a, a rebirth of it in terms of popularity for the NHS and people realizing its importance um, healthcare hasn't always been that way though um, and when we're looking at healthcare before 1948, um, the system was really unfair in many ways. Um, what we're looking at um, before then is a system where um, only the employed um, had access to healthcare. So with your wage packet came your employer paying for some of your healthcare and the government contributing, which meant that you yourself as a worker had access to healthcare. Um, you know, brilliant if you're working. Um, but if you're not, or even if it's the family of the person that's working, then there's some problems. And the only way that you could afford it for your whole family is if you paid for it. So you would say if there was only one working person in, in the family, say it's the, the, you know, f the father maybe that's a shipbuilder, he would hope that he would get paid enough to be able to pay for his wife and his say children to have health care too. Um, in most cases, for working class people, that wasn't the case. So we're looking at a system where there are, you know, half the population who can't afford healthcare. Um, not only that, is that ha the half the population that can't afford it are largely women and children, specifically women. Um, you'll remember from when you looked at making ends meet that women often gave their, up their healthcare for their children. Because um, if you were in a family, then you know the man would aut often automatically get it who was working. But then, if they could afford anyone's healthcare, then obviously as a family, you're going to put the children first. So, before 1948, we're looking at a system that favours men, that half the population of Britain don't have access to healthcare, um, and one as well where a number of children don't have access to healthcare. Um, you know, it, it's a. Uh, it, I guess it's a thing where people you wouldn't really think of it in this day and age but you if you're ill you go and see a doctor and that's what you do um in this time people only did that when they were really really ill because cost because doctors cost a huge amount of money for them to come out and see you or even for you to go and see them so people often waited till it was too late to see a doctor or where their condition got worse um so we're you know where we're starting off before 1948 the reason people wanted a change in the healthcare system was because it was drastically unfair um, for the poorer people within the UK. 